Turn off the front lights. Turn on the front lights. Turn off the back lights. Turn on the back lights. Hey, hot doggers. So I've gotten a ton of feedback from people wanting to know more about my Alexa setup at the laundromat here. Um, shout out to Chock Full of Quarters, Tammy and Greg. I think they got a laundromat out in Virginia. Um, they actually reached out. They, they wanted some more information on it. And I've gotten a ton of emails, uh, just random people all over the country from California, Arizona, Midwest, New Jersey, New York. I'm getting getting questions from, from tons of people asking for more information, asking me to go into more detail. So I'm going to take this time and I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to talk about exactly what I use, how I use it, why I use it, when I use it, all of it. So let's get started. So what you see on the screen right now is my system in a picture, okay? So the Alexa, the Amazon Alexa is the center of the entire system. Everything that I have, everything that I use connects to each other through the Alexa. So the Alexa is pretty straightforward. You buy it off of Amazon, 30 bucks, you plug it in, connect it to your Wi-Fi at your laundromat, Download the app on your cell phone, the Alexa app, and that app is how you're going to control everything in the laundromat. Step number two, the intercom system. The intercom system is the only thing that's not wireless, wirelessly connected to the Alexa. The intercom system, you have to have a wire to connect it to Alexa. That wire is... A wire, it's got the basic red and white RCAs on one end, and it's got a three and a half millimeter audio plug on the other end. And you can find these on Amazon, just type in 3.5 RCA, T-O-R-C-A. So 3.5 to RCA, and Amazon will pull up a whole list of, of these wires that you can use. So once you plug in, the RCAs to the intercom system and then you plug in the three and a half millimeter side to the back of the Amazon Echo all of the sound that comes out of this is going to go through your amplifier and come out your speakers the speakers are connected the speakers I have two speakers in my ceiling some places might need more I've got a 2500 square foot laundromat two speakers seems to do well um, if you have bigger, you might might shoot for three or four speakers, but I've got two speakers and they connect to the amplifier the same way your speaker system at home for your surround sound would connect. Um, it's just speaker wire. I've got the speaker wire runs up through the ceiling and goes straight out to the speakers. So with this setup, the Alexa sound comes through the amplifier and out the speakers, which allows me to play music I can make announcements. I can program announcements through the Alexa app. Um, you can actually make regular announcements at specific times. That's all done through the Amazon Alexa app. Um, so you can program announcements. You can program anything and everything. You can program music, certain types of music to play certain times a day. You can program music to stop at certain times a day. That's all done through the Alexa app. The Alexa app is free. So you can actually, you don't have to have an Amazon Echo, you just have to have an Amazon account. So if you have an, if you have an Amazon account, you can download the Alexa app and you can play around with the app um, without having an, an Amazon Echo. So if you're considering doing this, I would suggest doing that. Just download the app, play around with the app, see what its capabilities are, and then when you get the Echo, you can actually make announcements, play around with the music and all of that.
next step is going to be the ring cameras. Now I go with ring. I went with ring specifically because ring cameras are built to interact with the Amazon Alexa app. So you can use um, you can use ring cameras as motion detectors. They have motion detection. They have the ability for two-way communication. Um, there's a microphone and a speaker built in so you can communicate with people back and forth in the laundromat through the Ring app. So that's why I use Ring cameras. Ring cameras communicate with the Amazon Alexa, um, which allows me to use the Ring cameras to, to automate the laundromat. In my laundromat, I've got two of these. They are the outdoor cam, the outdoor spotlight cams. I've got one on each end of the laundromat that kind of overlooks the whole place uh, on the, in the front and back. And then I've got an undisclosed amount of these scattered all over the scattered all over the laundromat. Um, these are the $50 indoor cams. They don't have the built-in spotlight, but they do have motion detection. They have the built-in siren. Um, they have the two-way talk, so from any camera, I, any camera in my laundromat, I can talk to my customers if I need to. So next we have the ring alarm. I've got a ring alarm system. I am a 24-hour store, but I've got an office here. Um, that I have the alarm protecting. This office gets locked up when nobody's here, when I'm, when I'm not here. Um, so I have the alarm hooked up in the office to, to all, on all the, all the windows, all the, the, the doors. Um, everything has sensors on it. So if a door opens while it's armed, the alarm will go off, police will get called, all that good stuff. Um, so the, I have the alarm to protect the office, but Here's where I got a little crafty. I also have the ring alarm set up to monitor my vending machines. You can see the you can see the sensors. Those are the, the those are door sensors, door and window sensors um, for the ring alarm. Typically, you put it on you would typically they're on a door or a window, but I put them on the doors to the vending machines. So. In the event that the vending machines get broken into, this door, as soon as this door opens, it's going to trigger the alarm in the office and the police will get called immediately. Um, so my ring alarm protects the office, it protects my vending machines, and it also protects my TV. So as soon as that TV moves, if that TV moves, the alarm's gonna go off and police are gonna get called. I'm gonna get a notification on my cell phone. Um, so everything in here, everything in here that could be taken or broken into, I would know about it. I'm gonna know about it through the ring alarm system. Now the ring alarm system is also tied to the Alexa. In my bathroom, I've got a ring motion detector up there on the ceiling. That motion detector connects to the Ring alarm system, but in the Ring app, I have it set up so that if that motion detector detects motion, it's not gonna set off the alarm. That motion detector is specifically for the lighting. If you saw my, Alexa, my other Alexa video, the lighting in the bathroom is shuts off after three minutes of nobody being in there. If that motion detector detects no motion for three minutes, it'll automatically communicate with the Amazon Alexa and it'll tell the Alexa to turn off the bathroom lights. Now the bathroom lights are singlet. They're singlet LED Alexa compatible light bulbs. This white box right here is the brain of the singlet LED light bulbs. So this white box is what communicates with the Alexa to control those four lights in the bathroom. Um, so when you get, if you get this kit, you connect this to the Wi-Fi, you connect the light bulbs to this through your Wi-Fi, and then you connect 
this to the Alexa through your Wi-Fi. Um, so it's all done through your Wi-Fi. It's all done through your apps. You'll download the Singlet app. You'll do all that good stuff. But um, I mean, it's real simple. You almost have to do nothing. It's it, they, they, it all pretty much detects each other automatically. Um, but when that ring motion detector goes three minutes with, without detecting motion, it will communicate with the Alexa. It'll tell Alexa, hey, there's nobody in the bathroom. You can turn off the light. Alexa communicates with this box, says, hey, shut the lights off. This box turns the lights off. Which brings us to our final little square in the picture, lighting. So I've got the lights in this laundromat set up in two different strains. They're, it's like, like having two different spaces in here. Um, so I've got front lights and back lights. Alexa, turn off the front lights. Alexa, turn on the front lights. Alexa, turn off the back lights. Alexa, turn on the back lights. So if you watched my other Alexa video, I go into detail about why I have two separate sets of lights in my ceiling. Um, so go back and watch that if you want to know why I have that and set up that way. How I have it set up is through this. It is a GoSund. It's a GoSund Alexa plug, Alexa compatible plug. It's a three prong plug. You plug this into an outlet, you plug whatever you want Alexa to control into this. This connects to Alexa and Alexa controls whatever you have plugged in. In my case, lighting. Um, so my lights are controlled by these. I've got two of these set up, one, one named front lights, the other named back lights. I have it set up in the Alexa app so that when my ring cameras detect no motion for 30 minutes, the ring camera tells Alexa hey, nobody's in the store, shut the back lights off to save electricity. Alexa communicates with this and turns off the back lights. So it's a really simple setup what I have here. It's all run through Wi-Fi through two apps that I use. Obviously, there's a GoSund app that you have to download to set these up to the Wi-Fi. There's a Singlid app that you have to download there's a Singlet app that you have to download, and here is, it's upside down, but you should be able to read it. Um, well, yeah, you download the Singlet app, and you set up the Wi-Fi for that box to control the bathroom lights. But on a daily basis, I use Amazon Alexa, the Alexa app, and I use the Ring app. That's it. I communicate with my customers live through the Ring cameras, and I have programmed announcements um, through the Alexa app that allows me to make announcements and uh, set up routines, um, which is where you set up, you know, in the Alexa app, you'll set up routines to control, you know, triggers and actions such as the camera detects motion, it triggers the action of turning off the back lights or turning on the back lights. Um, so that's all controlled and done through the Alexa app. Um, it's really simple, really easy stuff. Um, I hope I covered everything in detail. If you have any questions whatsoever, um, feel free to leave them down below and I will go ahead and answer them. Um, or those of you that have been sending me emails, just shoot me another email and I'll go through it. So I hope you liked the video, like, comment, make sure you subscribe. Um, don't forget about the $100 giveaway. Share this video with your friends, share it on your social media. 
I'm giving away $100 as soon as I hit 1,000 subscribers. I'm going to randomly pick a subscriber for my $100 giveaway video, and they're going to get $100. So uh, make sure you subscribe to that. Uh, make sure you subscribe, like the video, comment, um, share. Get me to 1,000 subscribers. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.